you ain't that. Let's get to it. So it looks like Tank versus Lomachenko could happen in November. Now that's what's being reported, but remember, you gotta take things like this with a grain of salt. So Michael Benson tweeted, Javante Davis versus Silly Lomachenko is being targeted for November in Las Vegas, MGM Grand or T-Mobile Arena, Bob Arum has revealed. Now, this looks like it's gonna be an Amazon Prime and ESPN collaboration. Like I told you guys before on a previous video about these fights being in the piracy era. You're gonna need two streaming sources behind you to really just sell like that. In my opinion, it seems like even Canelo don't do that good when they only got one source behind them. But when you got two streaming sources behind you, two streaming companies behind you, it seems like it does pretty good. When Javante Davis sold 1.2 million with Ryan Garcia, they had Showtime and The Zone behind them. So I think this would be good for the fight itself, for the pay-per-views, and I can't wait for this fight to happen. Now I saw somewhere where it said that Lomachenko will actually step aside and let Javante Davis fight tank listen i don't know if he actually said that i ain't even really researched it to see if he said it or not but i hope that's not the case because like i say i will want tank to go ahead and fight lomachenko now so he's 36 and people already got excuses imagine if the fight gets prolonged any more than what it is right now imagine they really gonna be talking so i wish he don't step aside i wish this fight go ahead and go and happen so tank can go ahead and just get that out the way like i said people gonna still have excuses anyway but you know it is what it is people are gonna never be satisfied that's just the way boxing fans are especially when it comes to somebody like tank they're gonna always find excuses they're gonna always move the goalposts but supposedly he will be fighting on Machinko in November. So this most likely they're going to be the last fight of the year for him. And then next year, 2025, I guess we can expect him to go full-fledged at Shakir Stevenson, Pitbull Cruz, Devin Haney, and anybody else who's in his way.